Hello ladies and gents and welcome to this lecture on uncertainty in supply and demand. So when you talk about uncertainty, you talk about a lot of different um, things. Now, the two main aspects that come to your mind are supply and demand. If you've figured out everything with regard to supply and demand, then your business would be the most successful business out there. But that's not true. The reason is because nobody can figure out everything about supply and demand. There is always an element of uncertainty in terms of supply and demand. Now, there is an old principle out there called as the Mehrabian principle, where there's always a 20% chance of uncertainty in anything. So it's always an 80-20 uh, scenario you're looking at. So if you look at your supply chain, you have to look at three different things. One is the variation, two is randomness, and three are the tools and approaches. So what exactly are variation, randomness, and tools and approaches have to do with your supply chain? Now, variation is nothing but the variation in demand, uh, or you talk about the variation in supply. So if you are selling mangoes, there is a basic principle that there needs to be demand for mangoes at the same time uh, you have to ensure a proper supply of mangoes to meet the demand for mangoes. This goes down to the fundamentals of, of economics itself. So when it comes to your supply chain, there is always a variation in terms of the demand and supply. Going back to mangoes, there's always a variation in terms of demand and supply for the mangoes. 100 people may like the mangoes today. 80 people may like the mangoes tomorrow. 20 people might think, well, you know, I don't like mangoes today. So that's what happens in terms of variation. So you have your supply and demand. So as I mentioned here, you can never match the demand and supply. It's impossible to match the demand and supply. Now, this is also one of the main reasons why it's really hard to deal with uncertainty. And you have to understand that demand is not the only source of uncertainty. You have your lead times, you have your yields, you have your transportation times, natural disasters, component availability. Uh, there are so many factors which are causes or which act as causes for uncertainty. Now, if you look at this uh, graph out there, this is a graphical representation of the variability of your entire supply chain. You are starting from raw materials to the end product. You are looking at the demand and you're looking at the supply. So there's always variation in terms of demand and supply. Hence, there is variation in your supply chain itself. So you are looking at the production plan. You're looking at retail orders here. And you can see that there's a huge variation in terms of the retail orders. You're looking at the actual consumer demand here. You can see there's a huge variation in terms of the actual consumer demand. So not just in terms of the actual consumer demand, you have variation in terms of everything. And how do you deal with uncertainty? Dealing with uncertainty is always challenging. Um, for example, use a pull system. Um, how do you deal with using a pull system? You don't always produce mangoes based on, uh, uh, without looking at the demand. You produce the exact amount of mangoes based on the demand. So that means... Your technology should be top-notch. Your resources should be capable of, you should be capable of using your resources uh, 
uh, to do better forecasting. So when you use pull systems, you are actually producing only based on demand. And you have a lot of other aspects there, uh, such as risk pooling, centralization, forming strategic alliances with um, third party suppliers. You have the perfect tissue paper analogy where you form a strategic alliance or a long term alliance with a supplier of tissue papers so that you can have, uh, you don't waste uh, space or there's no wastage of space in your house by, you know, buying cartons and cartons of tissues of storing up. Uh, rather, you can actually uh, form a partnership with a supplier. Similarly, in supply chain, be it any product or service, you can actually form a partnership with a supplier which helps you in dealing with uncertainty because there's always uh, uh, supply or there's always supply in terms of demand. So you have to understand when you talk about a cyclic view, you go from the supplier to the customer, everything is cyclic. There's always a cycle in terms of the orders, in terms of replenishment, which is where you restock, in terms of manufacturing, in terms of procurement or procurement of raw materials from the supplier. So let's look at this once again. You have your raw materials, you have your end consumer, you have your supply, you have your demand. And there's always variability in terms of supply and demand. You can never match the supply and demand. The closer you are to matching your supply and demand, the better are the chances of producing an effective supply chain. And uh, if you try to remember a couple of things that helps you to uh, um, that helps you to avoid uncertainty that would be a pull system and the most important next thing would be forming a strategic alliance with a supplier. Having said that, there are other methods as well that can be used to avoid uncertainties. So let's all try to uh, produce based on demand and avoid wastage, but then depending on what your product or service is. This is what uh, uncertainty uh, is all about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.